Waking up to the devastating news of someone's passing, especially when it's someone who was part of an era of one's life, is an experience that stirs up complex blend of emotions. This morning, reports surface that Liam Payne, a beloved member of the boy band One Direction, has died under tragic circumstances in Buenos Aires, Argentina. While details are still emerging, it appears he may have either fallen from his hotel balcony or unlived himself. The loss of someone so young, with so much life left to live, forces us to confront the silent pain that often lurks behind the public personas of celebrities. And if we were to go beyond just celebrities, our family members, a friend of so many people we might know personally. Only a few months ago, I happened to be watching Diary of a CEO, and there it was, an interview that was done a few years ago with Liam Payne, where he courageously shared insights into his personal struggles, failed relationships, the pressure of fame, and his entrepreneurial journey and challenges. It was an honest, heartfelt glimpse into the toll mental health can take on those in the spotlight. Yet despite his openness, it's clear that something was left unresolved. Recently, allegations of domestic abuse and violence and troubling behavior emerged, further underscoring his inner turmoil. Some may wonder what connection, if any, exists between the tragic death of Liam Payne and anything related to Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. At first, I questioned it too, until I saw this, the Daily Mail cover, where even in the wake of such heartbreaking news, Harry and Meghan still managed to dominate the front page. It's as if not even the death of a young celebrity like Liam could displace the relentless media obsession with the Sussexes. This single cover speaks volumes about the UK media priorities and the disturbing focus they maintain on Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, regardless of the context. For nearly eight years now, Meghan has endured daily attacks, bullying and misogyny from the UK media. Despite her numerous plea for privacy and her candid discussions about her mental health struggles, including moments when she considered unaliving herself while she was pregnant, the abuse has continued unabated. The media's relentless fixation on her and by extension, Harry, reveals a disturbing trend of harassment disguised as public interest. What makes this situation even more disheartening is the hypocrisy displayed by those now pouring out sympathy for Liam. Many of the same voices who memorialized him today are the ones who day after day tear down others in the public eye. People like Megan, whose only crime is existing as a woman of color in a hierarchical, exclusive institution in which she married one of its members. While critics dismiss their harassment as critique or claim that public figures should simply withstand the scrutiny the truth is this, when the abuse is daily, when it's baseless and sourced from anonymous, unverifiable claims, it stops being critique. It becomes a form of psychological torture. We cannot continue to pretend that wealth or fame insulates someone from the devastating effects of mental health struggles. Everyone, regardless of their status, deserves to be treated with dignity, kindness, and compassion. The tragic death 
of Liam Payne and the persistent media campaign against Meghan Markle serves as a painful reminder of how damaging unchecked media narratives can be. As so many will mourn the loss of Liam, let us also reflect on the larger issue at hand, the urgent need for media reform. We never truly know the depth of someone's struggles and we should not wait for tragedy to strike before we show kindness. It's time for the media to take responsibility to recognize the humanity behind the headlines and to understand that their words carry weight. Sometimes the weight of a life. Dutch is difficult. Does Meghan Markle deserve that title? Every syllable of it. <clears throat> She's an appalling woman. Um, the idea that you could sit there and say publicly, I am the most bully bullied pe person in the world, or one of the most bullied pe people in the to world. To a bunch of 11-year-olds. To a bunch of 11-year-olds, but, but she knew the cameras was there. I wonder what the victims of domestic violence uh, felt about that when they were watching that. I wonder That's what the... Challenge of I wonder, bullying. I don't no, 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 violence. No, no, Nina, Nina, please Nina. don't bully Neil. Yeah, yes. Neil, Neil, Neil is the second most bullied person in the world behind Meghan Markle. Yes, this is... Look at you. You brought a tear to his eye. Yeah. <laughs> Fragile flower, even though he's worked for Rupert yeah. Murdoch.